Hey guys, Scott here. Today I want to talk about the DBD comp scene and how it has taken quite a bit of an L. I saw this tweet from Hens earlier today where he said he was stepping back from the DBD comp alliance. For those who are not aware, the DBD comp alliance was something that was sort of a coalition or an attempt to make a united front of all the competitive leagues basically in Dead by Daylight. So um, like DBD League, uh, all the tournaments that Hens runs, um, there's other stuff in there too. But basically, it was a respectable attempt at making a coalition of linked together competitive DBD tournament scenes, basically. So for example, if someone were to get banned in one tournament for breaking rules or being a little shit or being 17 years old, then it would basically propagate throughout all the other leagues inside the coalition. So they would be punished in all of them. And that's generally a good idea to make punishments be more of a universal thing. So if you're banned in one, you're sort of banned in all of them. Um, and I think that was a respectable thing to do. However, today, uh, Hens has said that he is leaving it behind. He was a prominent member of that. And considering he ran tournaments too, him stepping back from that is a uh, fairly decent blow because his tournaments were super well put together. And although I'm not really into the DBD comp scene or anything like that, I think it's pretty silly. Um, his things are still fun to watch at the very least. So... Um, I would assume that this came as a result of this statement I found from the Comp Alliance. Apparently, I don't know, someone was being a groomer or a pedo or I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't care. There's no evidence one way or the other making an actual judgment call on what's happening there. Pointless. I don't have any information from that at all. So all I know is that something happened and Hens wanted to step back from that whole scene as he pretty rightfully put out he can't control the space enough to put his name in it um and the dbd comp scene has a lot of shit now most of it is because it's literally just children it's like 16 17 year olds i know most dbd comp players now started playing comp when they were like 15 or 16 like it is we're literally talking about children here so them being immature dropping slurs and shit doing whatever in game i mean it's not really that surprising i mean they're again they're your kids um but every once in a while there is you know an older player that gets into some shit and um the, the scene is chock full of this stuff that's why a lot of the dbd comp scene gets a lot of hate is because there's just this seemingly drama every day in some regard in some way now the thing is that's not really unique to the dbd comp scene that, that is basically any games comp scene has people doing this shit in it um, the thing is, and as actually, as Hens mentioned right here, um, there's no organizations on the player side. This is the important part here. So the DBD comp scene has no player organizations whatsoever. It's just the tournament organizers, which means if you're on a DBD comp team, you're not managed by anybody. The people in charge of that team are just the players on that team. That's it. There's no regulation whatsoever. So if you're all immature dipshits, no one is regulating you doing that. Whereas, you know, if you look at like Counter-Strike or Apex or whatever, you look like, like Team Liquid or something, they have management. There are adults in charge of the organization that try to nip all this stuff in the bud. And there is still drama in these communities and stuff like that. It absolutely still happens. The issue is the management is much better at dealing with it because it exists. There is actually an attempt at regulating the stuff before it propagates to the actual league organizers and stuff like that. If there was no regulation in any of these things and all these comp teams for every game didn't have management, we would be seeing the exact same shit. And the competitive gaming scene in general would be an absolute joke. So I do really respect what they tried to do with this whole comp alliance thing and make that whole sort of coalition thing. But as soon as I saw that announced, I was like, well, that's not going to fucking work. No one's watching the players. There's just you're going to have the same shit happen. And yeah, you can try to ban one guy in every tournament or something like that. But as long as you have children that are just running around unregulated, you're going to have the scenario where there's just endless shit every day. And I understand Hens wanting to back away from that because you can't possibly have your name attached to every shitty situation that happens because now you have an element of responsibility for what's happening here. Essentially, these people are acting as the management and, and uh, the owners of all of the teams trying to regulate all of the players, which is just fucking impossible. You can't possibly keep track of everything that's happening with every single player. So um, the DBD comp scene is just doomed to have this forever until it dies off. There's just no avoiding this because no actual 
player organizations from any notable esports team or something like that are going to touch this game with a 10-foot pole. It's a fucking joke compared to actual competitive games. So they're never going to come near this stuff. So we will always have simply unregulated teams. And I am not one to shit on tournaments for games that have no business having tournaments. I think it's silly, but I respect and allow people to do it. For example, I ran and played in Dark Souls tournaments and Elden Ring tournaments and For Honor tournaments. I did all that shit. I ran organizations, I ran tournaments, and I participated in them. And they were all stupid games to have a competitive scene for. For Honor was probably the closest to being actually kind of competitive because it was kind of like a fighting game. But for the most part, I'm no stranger to this stuff. But I'm not dumb enough to think that I'm going to be able to... Or not dumb enough, I should say. I'm not naive enough to think that I'm going to be able to regulate all the players in the scenes. I remember in one of my tournaments, there was a player that was just basically being a little shit and they just like stopped playing in the middle of the match or something like that. There was like some drama. Like no matter what you do, there's always going to be something and I can't regulate that stuff and neither can they. It's just an impossible thing to fix as long as you have unregulated player teams that consist of, frankly, immature people. Um, you're just going to have this never ending. So I think distancing yourself from this is a smart idea. Um, and yeah, th there is a reason why the DVD comp scene constantly gets shit. And it's because there's just unregulated drama constantly, constantly, constantly. The other major reason is a lot of comp players look down on everybody else saying like they only play pub games as if that's not literally the only fucking type of game you can play. Oh, people that say that <laughs> they get under my skin so much. That's literally the only game mode. There's just public games. That's it. You can go off and have separate custom matches and stuff like that. But the default mode of the game is that there's no ranked mode. That is the, the only way you can play DBD. So judging people for not like jumping on your like seven person tournament and then you're a tournament winner. I don't know. I'm going on a separate rant here. Um, but the whole point is the DBD comp scene is unfortunately doomed to have this happen forever. Nothing will ever change this. I'm out of things to say. Thanks for watching. See you next time.